Hey, hey, and welcome to the stream. Oh my god, that was a long ass fucking. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Best emote. Hey, anyway, hello. Is every day now Shadow Slave Day? Who knows? Maybe. I just didn't have enough time and we stopped at like chapter 18. So I was like, maybe we can do 19 and 20 today. Or at least 19, depending on how much time I have. Uh, I got converted. <laughs> yeah. I haven't joined the Discord yet. I know. So I, I guess I'm not 100% there. I'm thinking about doing it. So I'm getting closer and closer each time. Um, doing that. But I was like, you. Now I don't have that much time. Do I want to shiny hunt? No, maybe not. So. And I don't have time to start fucking sailing in Spirit Fair. And I was like, Escaping into Shadow Slave would be nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm just responding, responding, responding to this message. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> there we go. <clears throat> that will always be the answer from now on. What? Yes. <laughs> to anything. Ah. <laughs> Might as well reach out Slayer instead of... Right. Exactly. We can't miss fucking school arc. Right? We have to get in that. And I was like, I was on the bus and I was like, we're not even 2% done. They said it's over 1,000 chapters. Like, I need to get on this. <laughs> but I feel like even if I'm only at like chapter 18 right now, like I'm too, I'm too deep. This is just how, what it will be. He has plans to do 3,000. Oh. What is the latest chapter? How many chapters are there? Currently. 110. Oh. 110. Wait. 1,000. 1,100. 1,100. If you would. I see. Well. At least we are on our way. <laughs> we are on our way. <clears throat> and this is where we ended off. Yesterday. Yes, feel free to ask before I start. If I say I don't know, is that a spoiler? Um, I mean, technically it is. Yeah, because then I know that I won't figure it out. Like, because sometimes I'm like, oh, they will probably say it later. And then you're like, I don't know. And then it's like, yeah. Maybe, like, we'll see is a better answer. <laughs> I don't know. Depends a little bit on what it is, you know? Because if I can figure it out, it's, not, it's no fun. But, like, the thing that I like to do the most is, like, predicting shit and, like, trying to figure out shit. But I don't want the answer. Because <laughs> I want to be there. It's like, oh, I was right or I was wrong or whatever. Oh shit, I just spilled water on my hands. <clears throat> but yeah, so depending on what it is, I don't know. Could technically be a huge spoiler. Spoiler. Exactly. And I don't want to know, like, what is hidden. <laughs> I see. I see. Uh, oh, the last thing that happened <clears throat> yesterday was that we said yes to going to the academy. We said yes to, what was her name? Master Yet, right? <laughs> like the Valor Valorant, Valor <laughs> why can I not say Valorant character? I do not play Valorant, no. yet right and we can't lie and when i say we i say sunny sunny cannot lie it hurts his brain if he tries <laughs> so without further ado we shall dive in to this uh. No. What do you mean by this? <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> yourself. Wait, did I actually accidentally? Oh, what? There we go. I accidentally fucking mirrored my thingy. I was like, why is it acting weird? It was mirrored. Sunny's lost from light. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Am I found in darkness? <laughs> <laughs> Scared of this light? That's good. <gasps> <laughs> no! <laughs> Ha 
Haha, <laughs> but you have to say it out loud for it to work. Hmm. <laughs> I have one. Now. <laughs> Chapter 19. Crossing the bridge. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> Hope it's a nice bridge. Sunny was standing in front of the massive, seemingly indestructible red gates of the Awakened Academy. The Academy was, in fact, a city within the city. It was built like a fortress, with a high wall made of hard alloy, deep moats, and numerous large caliber turrets, which were placed in certain positions to create a deadly air suppression, suppression dome. Air suppression dome? No nightmare creature, not even colossal titans, were supposed to be able to break through its defenses. <coughs> of course, starting off strong with the <laughs> I'll try to suppress them. Not. Anyway. <laughs> it was a legendary place. Actually, many of the most popular webtoons, youth dramas, and novel novels took place right behind that wall. Adventures, rivalries, and romantic entanglements of the young awakened heroes were the mainstream theme of modern entertainment. Never in his wildest dreams did Sonny imagine actually becoming one of the, these heroes. What is the new fucking high school musical? What is, what is this? <laughs> Get the hip hiccups out of the way. Dude, I haven't hicc like, hic hiccuped like all day. Something's wrong. Mm. <coughs> Hi Shane, welcome! Hello! Why didn't it welcome you, stupid stream? Okay, it did. My bad. <laughs> well, hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't see. I didn't hear the bling sound. Hello and welcome. We have entered school arc of Shadow Slayer. <laughs> <coughs> <sighs> okay. Of course, how things really were differed, differed, differed a lot from how it was portrayed in the media. More than that, he had only four weeks to spend here before venturing into the dream realm. Even if he wanted to, there was not enough time for any type of entanglement. And he def definitely did not want to. Okay, oh my god, hold on a second. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Tag! <laughs> it finally worked! Oh my fucking god, yay! <laughs> Tag was streaming and I was streaming at the same time. <gasps> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tag. Thank you for the raid. Hello, raid people. Thank you so much. We're reading Shadow Slave. Uh, an online novel, which is very nice. Entering chapter 19. We're in the fucking school anime arc right now. And my voice is <coughs> not cooperating. <coughs> For some reason. <sighs> Thank you so much, Tack. <laughs> I know you've said it for like three times in a row. You're like, and hey, now when I fucking stream. <laughs> like, I was just going to raid you and you end your stream. But now I'm here. Yay. Thank you. I will drink. I kind of felt a hiccup there. I was so scared. I was just gonna like fucking hiccup all the water out on my desk, but I didn't. I survived. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. Stupid, stupid voice. Let's continue. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and I was this time. Yay! Perfect, perfect timing then. I hope you had a good stream. 
I hope so, I hope so, I hope so. And all of your raiders better have fucking enjoyed it. <clears throat> or else. <laughs> <sighs> Let's continue to read while I have time. But thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. My god, what a start. <sighs> he had to learn how to survive. No waste time on such nonsense. The snow was slowly falling to the ground. It was cold and silent in front of the academy gates. Except for Sunny. There was only one other person. Another new sleeper. If you had to guess. No shinies. Oh! Next time, next time, next time. You'll get them, you'll get them. <clears throat> of course it's a girl. Oh my god, I saw. Okay. It was a tall, slender girl of around his age. With clear gray eyes and a detached look on her face. She had strange silver white hair that was cut short and neatly parted to the side. Just like him, she was dressed in a police issued tracksuit and had no personal belongings with her. On her head, there was a pair of old fashioned headphones. She was calmly listening to music while they waited. How do you know? Maybe she's listening to a podcast. <sighs> <laughs> or nothing. Just because she's introverted. <laughs> <clears throat> so she just has her headphones on so that no one speaks to her. There was a certain vibe to the silver-haired girl. It was sort of as though she was apart from the world. Okay? She looked confident and self-sufficient, but also a bit lonely. That sounds like you relate, all me relate, that I'm relating to it. No. <laughs> As if I would never, like, yeah, of course I would listen to a podcast if that was the case. But no, music is always in them. Like, I would never just wear the music. Yes. To be fair, actually, now when I think about it, I kind of did do that because I didn't want to talk to my neighbor. Because he speaks a lot, like, if he sees me. So it's like, fuck. So now I, I was watching... um a Netflix documentary on the bus on my way home. And then I, I paused it to get off the bus so I didn't miss anything. And then it's like, well, I'm not going to watch it while I'm walking home from the bus. So then I then I had my headphones still in. And then I was like, this is perfect because now I can walk past my neighbor if that's the case. So I guess I kind of did use this track. <laughs> You're right. I did use it. Fine. But he wasn't there. So it's just like, I just didn't, couldn't bother to take them off. But yeah. <laughs> I already had them in. I didn't do it without intent. Anyway. Shush. Stop being mean. <laughs> Sonny wasn't going to start a conversation. Who knew what kind of situation he would put himself in due to that damn flaw. It was better to keep to himself. He glanced at the girl and sighed. I wonder what flaw does she have? Do I wonder what flaw does she have? Does she have? Not, I wonder what flaw she has? I wonder what flaw does she have? I don't know, it just, it might be perfect English, it's just to me, it's just like, eh? I wonder what flaw does she have? There we go! <laughs> there we go! Made more sense. I wonder what flaw does she have? It, it could have. I could have fucking had a comma there if I would. I wonder what flaw does she have? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Finally, the gates began to open. The giant, ridicul ridiculously thick sheet of reinforced metal slowly descended, creating a long bridge. <laughs> so <laughs> Sonny looked ahead with grim determination. Master Jet's parting words echoed in his mind. I swear to God, if someone is watching this or listening to this as like, oh, I will, I want to hear the story like, like a flowing fucking audiobook. That's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, and definitely not this time. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> On their drive to the academy, Sunday didn't speak much. Looking at the sides of the city that were flying past the window of Jet's personal transport vehicle. Actually, it was his first time sitting in a PTV. 
Most people in the city couldn't even dream about getting a license and purchasing a vehicle like that, having to do with public transportation. Live reading. <laughs> right? I like it, though. He had ridden in the back of a police cruiser once or twice, but that was a completely different experience. At some point, Master Jet looked at him and said, Since we both come from the outskirts, I'll give you three pieces of advice. Whether you listen to me or not is your business. Sunny turned his head, waiting. First, once you re <laughs> once you're registered in the academy, they'll offer you psychological counseling again. There will also be a valuable reward for sharing your experience in the nightmare and the details of your appraisal. You'll be able to receive a soul shard, maybe even several of them. Well, he doesn't need those. He frowned. Are you trying to convince me to visit a psychiatrist again? Jet shook her head. No, I'm telling you to refuse. Oh. Surprised, Sunny raised his eyebrows. Why? There was a pause before she answered. You're too green to understand, but out there in the dream realm, nightmare creatures are not the only danger. Once you grow powerful enough, humans will become an equal threat. The less they know about your aspect, the better. So that's how it is. The easiest way to defeat a powerful awakened is to use their flaw. That's why young fools in the academy are encouraged in various ways to share the details of their aspects. I'm not saying that the government will leak your information, but once two people know a secret, it's no longer a secret. And there's a lot of people working for the government. That made a lot of sense. Thank you, Master Jet. She gave him an she gave him a nod. Second, there will be a lot of courses to choose from. All types of combat training, deep dives into nightmare creatures, categories, and vulnerabilities, basics of various types of sorcery, artifact study, and so on. Sunny gulped. Actually, he was already agonizing about what weapon to train with. Four weeks was not enough to master a weapon, but at least he would have a basic understanding of it. Disregard all of that. The only course you have to attend is wilderness survival. He blinked. What? Jet glanced at him. It's different for city kids, who learn all sort of useful things in school and from their tutors. But we don't have that, ava that advantage, do we? What was the biggest threat to, you, to your life during the nightmare? Sonny thought about it. On the surface, the most dangerous thing he faced was the tyrant, followed by Hero, Aru of the Nine. But actually, what almost killed him in the end was the cold. Jet smiled. Smart. You only know how to survive in the city, but the dream realm is mostly made of wilderness. Do you know how to make a fire? How to pro procure food? Procure <laughs> feud. <laughs> feud. <laughs> How to find safe shelter? No. Fighting monsters is important, but it will be useless if you die of hunger or exposure to the elements. Trust me, I've learned it the hard way. Sunny nodded, anger at himself. It was so obvious, yet he never even thought about these seemingly simple things. He was blinded by his past habits and experience. Human brains were like that. Once accustomed to a certain way of living, it was hard to see past already familiar routines. It was lazy thinking at its worst. At that point, Master Jet had stopped the car and opened the door, getting out. Sunny followed her and was momentarily stunned, staring at the colossal metal gates in front of them. This was the famous Awakened Academy. After a few seconds, he shook off his amazement and turned to his senior. This is as far as I go, she said, looking cheerlessly at the walls of the Academy. I've already notified them. Someone will come fetch you in a while. There was something dark in the depths of her icy blue eyes. Sunny suddenly felt a cold feeling spreading through his body. What's the third advice? Master Jet gl glanced at him, then sighed. Remember, no one can survive in the dream realm alone. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. Try to get along with your peers, even if they don't treat you well. It might save your life. Then she suddenly smiled and patted him on the shoulder. There's a kitty outside. And now I can't see it anymore. 
You've done well to survive until now. Make sure to keep yourself alive in the future too. Then she got back into her PTV and drove off. Just like that, she was gone. The end of the metal bridge hit the special grooves in the ground and stopped moving after a set of lo loud clicks. Sunny looked ahead, wondering what kind of life he was going to be living in the next four weeks. Keep your flaw and aspect secret. Learn to survive in the wilderness. Be nice to other sleepers. It didn't sound too hard. But for some reason, he was sure that these weeks were going to be as challenging as his first nightmare, or maybe even worse. Seemingly free of such concerns, the silver-haired girl walked forward and stepped on the bridge. Sunny sighed and reluctantly followed. Wow. School. <laughs> School will begin. Just gonna check my time. Do I have time? I have some time. Why can I not hear this sound effect? Boop. I just finished no school, please. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, 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 hopefully. Just <laughs> searching. No, no. <laughs> they recycled eighty percent of the questions from former exams today. Oh. Oh my god. Well, that should be easy then. Then you should know. If if it's something that you've already done. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Nice. <gasps> oh, perfect. Oh, but you didn't. I suspect you didn't then, since you're saying that. Or or you don't know the results yet. Maybe that's that's what it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but that, well, that's a good approximate. It will probably be true. Good job. Let's continue. <laughs> Chapter 20. Outcast once again. Oh no. The sleeper part of the compound was relatively small and situated in the southern parts of the academy, surrounded on all sides by training fields and parks. It was a low, modern building constructed with reinforced metal materials. Metals. Like the majority of buildings in the academy, most of it was hidden below the ground, leaving only a couple of floors above it. <laughs> With its white, pristine alloy walls and wide windows, it must have looked beautiful in the summer, contrasted against all the greenery around. Inside, the building was spacious and well lit. Sunny and the silver-haired girl were taken to a large hall where a hundred or so of young and men, young men and women, sleepers of the same unfortunate timing as the two of them, we're already waiting for the beginning of the induction induction ceremony. Most of them were nervous, tense, and excited. Logistics of the academy were a constant headache for the administrators, since the rate at which the spell infected people was always chaotic. There was no way to orderly structure for, for batches of sleepers to undergo any type of standardized education on a shared schedule. Some of them had a full year to prepare for the dream realm, some only months, some even mere days. That's why these, these induction ceremonies were held each month at the beginning of the year and then every week once the winter solstice began to loom near. Some of the sleepers in the hall had to wait days to be in inducted, while Sunny had lucked out and was delivered to the academy just hours before the scheduled event. 
Once inside the hall, he understood two things. <clears throat> well, three things this time. <laughs> two things. Firstly, everyone was well dressed and in possession of a suitcase, a duffel bag, or at least a backpack carrying their personal belongings. They were obviously coming prepared, most likely from home, sent off by their families. So Sonny and the silver-haired girl, who came empty-handed and wearing simple police-issued clothes, were not a norm like he had assumed, but actually an eye-catching anomaly. Right, that makes sense. Secondly, Master Jet was not being overly humble when she called herself below average by awakened standards. Even though these young people were just starting their paths as awakened, their looks were dazzling. Everyone was handsome, beautiful, and radiated health. Wait, he just said, he just said, he was like, wow, Master Jet is like amazing. And now he's like, yeah, she's trash. Look at these people. <laughs> Damn, she does look like shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> he swallowed. Still, I feel like none of them compare. She might not be- Oh wait, did I read that wrong? <laughs> Master Jet was not being overly humble when she called- Okay, okay, she wasn't- No, she was not being overly humble. Okay, okay, okay. Well, but still, still, she- Still. Okay, anyway. I feel like none of them compare. She might not be as perfectly shaped, but I don't know. She has a presence. It's like shadows become deeper and the temperature drops by a couple of degrees when she's in a room. Was this the difference between a sleeper and a master? But all of these thoughts were just him trying to post postpone the inevitable. Inevitable. Sonny already knew that he was in for a wild ride. Because he could not lie. And all of these ex excited youths, regardless of their clothes, gender and looks, wanted to do one thing. Talk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> will be interesting every one of them wanted to talk with fellow sleepers they wanted to discuss their nightmares their future journey into the dream realm and everything in between they wanted to ask questions they wanted to be asked questions they wanted to discuss something important or just chit chat about stupid things everyone wanted to share it's a nightmare sunny moaned disturbed and fearful i'm doomed he moaned <laughs> why then, with a bit of grim determination, he gritted his teeth and slowly exhaled. Just think about it as a continuation of your trial. You survived the, bla you survived the Black Mountain, so you can survive this too. He had faced heroes, villains, monsters, and even gods. Was he going to be afraid of a bunch of teenagers? Teenagers scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> Uh, yes, you should. <laughs> you should. Hundred percent, you should. He might have underestimated how scary teenagers can be. See, in half an hour, pretty much everyone in the room hated his guts. Oh no, I can't hear the conversations. Oh. After a short series of conversations, Sunny had acquired a reputation of an obnoxious, foul-mouthed pervert. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh this reputation was quickly solidified he was slapped a few times and even punched once he also discovered a couple of new things about his true self namely that deep down inside he was apparently rude arrogant and more than a little bit lustful oh my god i uh, guess yeah he is a senior himself that is true <laughs> oh my god the conversations went something like this oh my god yes please Whew. Look at all these young people. How many do you think will return from the dream realm? How many will perish? What do you think of our own chances of survival are? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that a pompous fool like you will die first. <laughs> <laughs> or, I even received an armor type memory in my nightmare. It's an enchanted robe. Would you like to see? Actually, I would prefer to see you without a robe. <gasps> he can just say no or yes. He can just say... Oh, I guess not. I guess not. He just has to, like, whatever thought he comes. Like, oh, okay. Oh, my God. Or 
Then those low lives began to rob the bodies. It was disgusting. They even took their shoes. What kind of a degenerate would take a dead man's shoes? Well, that happened to us. I once killed a man and took his boots. They were nice boots, right? What? You killed someone just for a pair of boots? Of course not. There were other reasons. I also took his cloak. <laughs> Once again, an outcast. Sunny was eventually left alone. People seemed to be avoiding him. Unperturbed. He found a quiet corner and stood there. Glad that he... W glad that no one wanted to talk to him anymore. <laughs> his, his face hurt and there was blood dripping from his nose. <laughs> Being ostracized with a group was nothing new, but it still stung. However, he was smiling. Because in the process of turning the whole batch of sleepers against himself, Sonny had discovered something vital. He learned how to control his flaw. What? <clears throat> okay. Once asked a question, he could not keep quiet. He also couldn't lie. Okay, so he has to say something. Okay. Edgy emo kid gets excluded again. Who could have thought? <laughs> In school of all places. Hmm. Uh, however, after a lot of experimentation, Sonny had found out that with a bit of practice, he could influence the exact way the truth eventually came out. There we fucking go. That's what I fucking thought. Okay. It was like this. After receiving a question, his mind automatically produced a truthful answer. After that, the flaw would force him to say that answer aloud. Refusal to speak would result in the build-up of pressure, then piercing pain. The longer he kept quiet, the worse the pain would become. Eventually, he would have to surrender and reveal the truth. However, in these moments between receiving the question and surrendering to the pain, the actual wording of the answer could be changed. The more it strayed from the initial thought, the more resistance he, could, he would meet. Once again in the form of pressure, then pain. It still had to be truthful, but it didn't have to be so stark. Okay, okay. For example, if Master Jet were to catch him staring again <laughs> and ask what he was looking at, instead of embarrassing himself, Sonny would have been able to endure a bit of pain and simply say, You. Yeah, much better. That would still be truth. However, the result would be entirely different. Hidden in the corner, Sonny grinned as he observed the sleepers. This is good. This is great. This is something I can work with. After all, one didn't have to lie to deceive a person. Sometimes, truth was the best material for creating deceit. I guess, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, interesting. <laughs> if used with a certain devious type of intelligence, truth could be as misleading as lies. For example, in one of his previous conversations, Sonny had confessed that he had once stolen boots from a dead man. The other guy was horrified and asked if he had really killed someone just for a pair of boots. The answer the flaw forced him to give was that there were other reasons and that he had also taken the man's cloak. The true reason for killing the veteran slave slaver was that he had whipped Sonny a few hours pre prior. Besides, he was already dying. The cloak had nothing to do with the killing itself. However, the wording of the answer created an imp impression that it did. Hmm. Thus, two truthful statements, when put together, created, created an effect akin to a lie. This was just a simple example. With a lot of effort and intense thinking, Sonny could create other types of manipulative thought truths. It was going to be extremely difficult and risky, but it could be done. He just needed a bit of luck. It was time to put this, his theory to practice. Sonny didn't forget what his main goal was to make sure that no one ever finds out his true name. To achieve that, he had to create an impression that he was the most pathetic, weak person in the whole building. Someone who could never receive a pos positive appraisal, let alone a divine aspect and a true name. However, since this would be a lie, he couldn't just go and say it. So how was he to convince everyone that he definitely did not have a powerful aspect and an impressive record with the spell? His eyes fell on a particular group of sleepers. There were five or six of them, gathered around a tall, confident young man. The young man had brown hair and a gentle, handsome face. His eyes were green, with a hint of friendly humor. His posture, figure, and attentive gaze betrayed someone who went through extensive tra training. 
Everything about the young man screamed of nobility and strength. Just at that moment, one of his companions were saying with a tone of amazement, Ascended? You have received an ascended aspect? What, what was your appraisal? The young man smiled humbly. Oh, it was excellent. Sunny stopped in front of the group, as though by accident. After hearing the young man's answer, he frowned and looked at him with disdain. Then, with a voice full of utter bewilderment, Sunny said, Ascended? Excellent? That's it? What's the big deal? <laughs> I feel like this is very, very, very not good, though, because, <laughs> I mean, like, just, but, hmm, I guess that even if he tells the truth, then maybe they won't believe him. I feel like that's the thing he's going for here. That they're gonna be like, He's like, I had that too. And they're going to be like, no way, you suck. And he's like, yeah. Uh -huh. And then he says the truth, but no one will believe in him. <laughs> Social skills. <laughs> Making friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. I guess that's what he's trying to do. I don't... <sighs> I guess... Maybe... Mm. Okay, we'll do one more. Surely. I guess we will see. <gasps> wow. Chapter 21. First performance. Ooh. His words hung in silence. The sleepers looked at Sunny with a hilarious assortment of emotions, ranging from bewilderment to shock. The young man with humorous eyes who smiled politely. To be honest, getting an ascended aspect during the first nightmare was extremely rare. He was certainly someone special, maybe even outstanding. <sighs> Actually, despite their apparent differences, the young man somehow reminded Sunny of Hero, Aura of the Nine. <gasps> there was a special type of calculating. Thank you. Oh. There was a special type of calculating coldness hidden deep inside their eyes. He had encountered such people before, mostly among the veterans of various street gangs in the outskirts. They simply called this type of coldness murder math. <laughs> uh, but it was me. <laughs> I reached for it, so I was like, eh, and I was gonna say thank you. And then it's like, oh, well, it wasn't for me, but now it is for me. I will drink, thank you. <laughs> Murder wrath. What the fuck? Mm. Yes, excuse me, Monokuma. Yes, murder wrath. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, basically, it was a habit experience fighters developed. No matter where they were and what mood they were in, there was always a sober part of their minds constantly calculating the most efficient way of killing the person in front of them, just in case such need arises. Oh, damn. Ugh, why do I have to antagonize someone like that of all people? But Sunny really had no grounds to complain. After all, he brought this on himself. After a few seconds, one of the young man's companions finally blinked and said, Uh, friend, you must not know a lot about this spell. Caster's results are truly remarkable. Then, with a furtive glance of, at the remarkable caster, he added, Wait, his name is Caster? Okay. He is a legacy, after all. An actual, living, and breathing descendant of an awakened clan? Sunny reevaluated his opinions of the humorous young man. Legacies were known to be trained for their eventual entrance into the spell from the moment they could walk. For them, being infected with a certain certainty instead of a possibility. They were extremely formidable people. Just great, he thought bitterly and made his frown deepen. Are you trying to pull a prank on me? You call this remarkable? 
The bewilderment in the eyes of these sleepers were slowly being replaced by hostility. Listen, friend, if you don't think that an ascendant aspect is remarkable, then please share with us your own amazing results. What, pray tell, was your appraisal? Castor himself was still keeping quiet and smiling. However, his defenders were growing restless. Like a board mission. <laughs> this was exactly what Sonny wanted to happen. He smiled with utter content. I would let you know. My appraisal was, uh, it was glorious. Yes, glorious. And the aspect I acquired was of the divine rank. Yeah. Just what I thought. After that, he received a number of strange looks. No one had ever received a divine aspect before. So, of course, they were starting to think that he was a lunatic. But there was still a sliver of doubt. Maybe that strange guy was a descendant of a powerful clan? A peerless prodigy? Maybe his appraisal was, indeed, glorious. Sunny had to dispel that tiny bit of doubt. Mind you, I'm not some lofty legacy. <laughs> I'm from the outskirts. I've never even received combat training. All that training and he only got an excellent? What did he do during the nightmare? Pick his nose in the whole- Pick his nose the whole time? The expression of all the sleepers that were listening to his bragging instantly changed. An outskirts rat with no training? Yeah, sure. Who was he trying to fool? Finally, with the same polite smile, Caster spoke. Glorious. That is interesting. Would you mind telling us what were your achievements in the nightmare? Sunny grinned. Sure, no problem. First of all, I kill an, uh, an awakened tyrant. Every, uh, caused him a couple of moments of intense pain, but he didn't let it show on his face. His expression was nothing but smug and confrontational. The mere mention of a tyrant, let alone, let alone an awakened one, made a couple of sleepers smile with ridicule. Oh really? How did you kill it? An arrogant look appeared on Sonny's face. How? Let me tell you, I didn't even have to fling a finger. I just spat and it was torn to pieces. Which was true. Sonny had spat a mouthful of blood on the altar. And as a result, Mountain King was ruthlessly dismembered by Shadow God. Oh my god, he actually fucking spit and he died. <laughs> Deadly spit. <laughs> Sonny was genuinely angry. He wanted to retort, saying that he wasn't short, but he couldn't. Because that would be a lie, damn it. So instead he just gritted his teeth and said with a voice full of outrage, I can't answer that because I didn't even fucking ha 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 ha. Someone openly laughed. <laughs> this guy is either insane or purposefully messing with us. Listen here, shorty. Have some decency, okay? Who would believe such a lie? Sonny was genuinely angry. He wanted to retort, saying that he wasn't short, but he couldn't. Because that would be a lie, damn it. So instead, he just gritted his teeth and said with a voice full of outrage, I can't answer that because it's not a lie. Oh. Are you really insisting that you had killed an awakened tyrant? A tyrant. And with a bit of spit, no less? Sonny knitted his brows. That's the truth. More laughter followed. Crazy bastard. He actually believes in his own crap. Insane. He's insane. Unexpectedly, Caster stopped his companions. Guys. <laughs> After the laughter quieted down, he asked in a friendly manner. What else did you achieve? What? That wasn't enough? Sunny raised his shin. Let me think. Oh, I also killed an awakened swordsman. Really? How did you do that? Acting as though he was a little bit embarrassed, Sunny looked down. That, actually, that time I had to lift a finger. I even had to shake it a couple of times. That was enough to kill him, though. <gasps> good night, good night. Hello, hello. He was holding the silver bell between his fingers, which led to Hero being attacked and eventually killed by the tyrant. So, technically, all his statements were true. What a crackpot. Ha! Can you believe this idiot? Poor bastard. Not only is he weak, he's also lost it. Caster gave his companions a long look and then turned to Sunny. Anything else? Sunny blinked. Time for the finishing touch. Something else? Uh, well... Oh right, I communicated with a bunch of gods. Even though they were all dead, I made one of them wake up. 
He gave me a blessing. I was blessed by God. Do you all understand? The sleepers were silently shaking their heads or looking at him with pity. Caster sighed. I see. Well, in comparison to your achievements, mine do look rather average. Average. Thank you for sharing with us. I hope you'll be a successful... I hope you will be as successful once we enter the dream realm. Yeah, they 100% going to fucking go in there together. Then he smiled with a look of smug superiority on his face. You better believe it. With that, he turned around and walked away. Ah, that's a job well done. He was pretty sure that after this performance, no one would ever believe that he actually had some kind of powerful aspect or did anything worthy of notice during the nightmare. He only told them the truth and yet managed to make everyone believe in the opposite of the truth. Such an incredible feeling. Well, the whole friend making thing didn't go that well, but it was a good try. <laughs> You'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> oh. What did they think of him now? They thought that he was weak, grew up without any education in the outskirts, and had no training. More than that, he was apparently either insane or incredibly stupid. His temper was terrible. Truly pathetic and pitiful fellow. Now, whenever he was asked about his aspect, he could just honestly say that it was of the divine rank and be laughed at. People would rather believe that the spell had ceased to exist than that he, he was some... Some weird just walked outside. I had to look. Okay, uh... People would rather believe that the spell had ceased to exist than that he was someone noteworthy. He could even... <sighs> he could even scream about his accomplishments from the roof and no one would believe him. Subsequently, no one would ever suspect that he had a true name. Just you wait, fools. One day I'll be the one laughing. As Sunny was walking away, he heard one of the sleepers talking to Castor. Why didn't you put that lunatic in his place? He has belittled you. After a short pause, Caster answered. His voice sounded low and mellow. Poor kid must have lost his mind in the nightmare. It often happens. He'll most likely die soon. So being kind is the least I can do. Damn. The corner of Sunny's mouth twitched. What a nice guy. <laughs> Damn. What a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He knew that Caster's words were based on a false as assumption, but for some reason still felt a cold chill running up his spine. Oh. Nice guys are scary. Two nice guys are scary. Hero and Scholar, right? And now this... This guy. Fucking caster. Never heard that name before. <gasps> Ever. Okay, let's do one last chapter and then I have to go. One last chapter. Chapter 22. Corpse Corner. Ooh. Satisfied with his performance, Sonny walked back to the deserted corner of the hall. <laughs> yes, I am! He felt people looking at him with mockery, contempt, and pity. No one seemed to be willing to stay close to him. It was just as well. He didn't want to be bothered anyway. <sighs> what about the fucking girl, right? He, she's gonna be like, I believe in you! And he's like, no! <laughs> and then in the end, she's gonna say, he, she's gonna become his master. <laughs> Book done. Still, weren't their reactions a bit exaggerated? It's not like he was carrying an infectious disease. Well, except for the spell. But it wasn't really a disease, which everyone here should have known already. Finally, he extricated, he extricated himself from the crowd and reached a corner. For some reason, sleepers were unwilling to approach it. Currently, there was only one girl sitting quietly on the bench. Sonny gave her a look. Oh, it wasn't that girl. Okay. The quiet girl was delicate, demure, is that a word? <laughs> and very pretty. Her clothes were tidy and neat. They weren't very expensive, but still rather tasteful. 
With her pale blonde hair, big blue eyes, and exquisite face, she looked like a beautiful porcelain doll. She was subtly, subtly... <sighs> she was breathtaking. <laughs> subtly, subtly... I can't say that word! I know what it means, I know everything, but... Meh. You just have to respond very quick. Give me a second. Subtly. Subtle? Subtle. <laughs> no, I don't know. Here we go. Uh, breathtaking. However, there was something wrong with her. <laughs> Sunny frowned, trying to understand what exactly about the girl made him uncomfortable. After a while, he realized that her empty, expressionless stare was reminding him of Mountain King. Startled, Sunny understood that the girl was blind. It took him a couple of seconds to compose himself. Oh damn. What a shame. A bit... What a shame. <laughs> okay. A bit disheartened, he carefully sat on the opposite end of the bench. The girl wouldn't have survived the first nightmare if she had been blind prior to entering the spell which meant that she lost her sight as a result of the appraisal. It was her flaw. Oh, damn. Suddenly, Sunny felt very apprehensive. A cold sensation spread through his chest, and I thought my flaw was bad. No matter what aspect ability the blind girl had received in exchange for her sight, it was effectively a death sentence. A blind person had no chances of surviving in the dream realm, at least not with a dormant core. In some sense, the girl was already dead. She was effectively a walking corpse. Feeling extremely disturbed, Sunny turned away and studied the crowd of sleepers. Now he understood why people were trying to avoid this corner. The girl was surrounded by an invisible but almost palp palpable era, aura of death. Sleepers usually weren't very superstitious, but anyone would feel uncomfortable in her company. Because, okay, okay. Armed with this knowledge, Sunny suddenly saw a pattern in how the young people in the hall were grouped. Instinctively, they all tried to stand close to those of their own circumstance. Wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> um, at the far end of the hall, closest to the stage, were one or two small groups. People in these groups were distinct from the rest of sleepers. They were all confident, calm, and had, a, had an air of readiness. These were the legacies. They were trained for the spell since birth and had the highest chances of survival. Caster especially stood out from the rest. You made it! Welcome! Disappointment! Hi! Kinda. Yeah, probably. Probably last chapter. Probably. Probably. We made it! Yeah! No? <laughs> yes! Welcome! <laughs> we'll see! Caster <laughs> uh, stood out, yes. Next to them was a larger number of expensively dressed young people. They were lively and excited, and only a little nervous. They were the science... science? Science of rich and high-ranking citizens. Their training was pretty good since such familiar families had ample funds to hire private tutors, even awakened ones. Their chances of survival weren't bad. Then there was the largest part of the crowd, which consist consisted of kids from middle-class families. They might not have had the privilege of training under awakened tutors, but their education wasn't bad. The government spent a lot of effort to put all the necessary knowledge and skills into the school curriculum, preparing potential sleepers in advance. <coughs> Some of them might have received additional training in private. To survive, these sleepers would need to put in a valiant effort and also have a bit of luck, but it wasn't improbable. Consequently, they were tense and nervous. And lastly, there was Sunny and the blind girl. The corpses. 
From the point of view of other sleepers in the hall, your chance of survival were close to zero. How charming. This was how the young sleepers had subsequently subconsciously divided themselves. Mm. One second. Oh my god, yes, that was peak. <laughs> well, the void is up. <laughs> that was insane. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I'll just do it from the beginning here. And this was how the young sleepers had subsequently, subconsciously, again, oh my god, divided themselves. The only exception from this rule was a silver-haired girl who stood alone and apart from everyone, seemingly indifferent to tension and nervousness that permeated, permeated the air. She was leaning against the wall with her eyes closed, still listening to music. Now... <laughs> No, did you? No, of course not. No, anyway. <laughs> but, regardless, but regardless of their group and level of training, everyone was already tired of waiting. When will the damn induction ceremony start? Sunny thought, irritated. As though answering his thoughts, a tall man in a dark blue uniform appeared, appeared, <gasps> he appeared on the stage. Not only was he tall, he was actually almost a giant. Sunny even wondered if the man's mother had sinned with the bear. What the fuck? Sunny, please! Really? <laughs> Assholes, no, I don't pre-read. People are gonna think that I pre-read. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> wow, Sunny. Savage. Well, he did learn about himself that he's like a... Not a nice person. <laughs> he's rude. <laughs> <sighs> of course, it was impossible. Bears had <laughs> gone extreme. Uh, we really talk about this, okay? <laughs> Bears had gone extinct long before the spell even appeared. But he once saw pictures in a book, and they looked sort of familiar. The fact they don't have bears, a bear-like nightmare creature. Then, uh, okay. <laughs> I want to pre-read emotes. <laughs> <laughs> Might be able to do that. Might be. We'll see. We'll see. Um, the giant man had wide shoulders, an athletic build, and gorgeous brown beard. <laughs> His eyes were calm and serious. After reaching the center of the stage, he gave sleepers a long look. When his gaze reached a deserted corner, Sunny suddenly felt nervous. Uh... I sure hope he doesn't have a telepathic ability. Otherwise, he might separate me from a limp or two on behalf of his mother. <laughs> the man didn't pay Sonny a lot of attention and returned his gaze to the front rows of the crowd. Finally, he said in a deep, reverberating voice. I am Awakened Rock. Sleepers, welcome to the academy. Wait, his name is Rock. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Everyone listened without making a sound. In less than a month, you will be summoned to the dream realm. Some of you might think that you are well prepared. You're wrong. The spell is merciless and cunning. The moment awakened begin to think too much of themselves, and they die. I've seen countless sleepers like you lose their lives. I've also seen experienced masters lose their lives. Lose theirs. Even saints are not assured to survive. 
right? Like the actor, dude, and he was like, he looks like a bear. It's like the rock's fucking huge, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm imagining The Rock, Dwayne, Dwayne Rock Johnson, hundred percent. That that's who this is. <laughs> thanks for thanks for the encouragement. Sunny thought sarcastically. In the following four weeks, we will do everything in our power to increase your chances of survival. You will receive training from the best instructors in the world. However, don't be misled by their fame. In the end, whether you return from the dream realm alive depends only on one person. You. The responsibility to survive is yours. And yours alone. Except for the legacies, sleepers were looking at each other with growing fear in their eyes. Awakened Rock continued. <laughs> but he has to say awakened. <laughs> he didn't say he had hair. He said that he had a gorgeous beard, didn't he? Did he say that he had hair? Uh, a tall man in a dark blue uniform appeared on the stage. Not only was he tall, he was actually almost a giant. Still fits, still fits. Sonny even wondered if he is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. The giant man with wide shoulders, yes. Athletic build, yes. Gorgeous brown beard, no. His eyes were calm and serious, yes. Yeah, sure, it could be. See? Hey? <laughs> it's just a beard. Just a beard. If he had a beard, it would have been fucking Dwayne. I swear. <laughs> it's just Dwayne with a beard. <laughs> oh yeah, Wake and Rock. <laughs> God thank you. <laughs> You are not children anymore. It's a shame. Because you ought to be. Thank you. I will drink first. <sighs> but the spell has decided otherwise. You have been you have been to the first nightmare, so you already know what it's like. Your parents, your teachers and your friends can't help you anymore. I haven't had any of those in a long time. While listening to The Rock's speech to- No, he said The Rock! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. While listening to Rock's speech, Sonny couldn't help but feel a little excluded. It was all old news to him. However, he understood the instructor's purpose. He had to make young sleepers afraid, because fear was the only thing that would keep them alive. Finally, the speech got to the important part. Awakened Rock paused, giving kids listening to him a few moments to di digest his words. Then, with a short nod, he continued. Now we will talk about the difference between nightmares and the dream realm. <sighs> yes! I need to know. Cause I don't understand. <laughs> Hundred percent. You said it's different. What is the difference? Dwayne the Rock will tell us next time. But I will drink again. <sighs> next time we read, Dwayne the Rock will tell us. What's the difference between a nightmare and a dream realm, hmm? Dwayne? <laughs> Beauty Dwayne? No. Well, mm, I might not have time to stream tomorrow. It all depends. So, no. <laughs> I think that if, if it will be a stream tomorrow, it will probably be some shiny hunting uh, before I have to go. But we'll see. Depends on how much time we have. No. <laughs> no. Tuesdays are the dedicated Shadow Slave days. So fun. For now. I can't we'll drink again. <laughs> then I'm gonna quit. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
You did make it for a tiny bit. I'm very happy that you did. Thank you. But now it is Wawa time. Sleepy time. And don't forget that apparently tonight, I think it's tonight, you're supposed to be able to see the blue moon. So fucking look out your windows when the moon's up, right? And you might be able to see the blue moon. <laughs> no! Well, it might not be for long. <laughs> yes! Do so, do so. <laughs> but anyway... Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for coming to the stream, you can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, uh, become a Patreon, and join the Discord, I am Smolses, and all those places, and Twitter, yeah, sure, <laughs> should I start using Twitter again? <laughs> thank you so much for watching, thank you, thank you, no, my space, no. <laughs> I am... <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a nice rest of your day. See you next time, small gamers. <laughs> hey, no, bye bye. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. I didn't fuck up. Shh. Nothing happened. Bye. Sweet dreams. <laughs> yes. Maybe I should read the next Shadow Slave's chapter.